Yo, what's up, guys? What it do? What it do? We got another great matchup here. It's the Maguire's Mira Glaze number 34, professional final inspection, quick detailer, fast miss on wipe off a show car shine. Okay, as y'all know over here, it's the Grills Garage Speed Shine Five Minute Detailer. Okay. So we're going to see what's one of these more hydrophobic after about three coats of each. And then we'll see who's the winner. Okay. So y'all know um, I'm good for bringing y'all that good stuff, man. I'm good for bringing y'all that good stuff. And um, I love to do it. Love to match them up. Love to match them up. See which which. See who's going to win. Um. Just a sight to see. Can Rios even beat Final Inspection? McGuire's? Uh, there's no match for the quick detailers. The ultimate. So we said we'd give it a second chance on the Final Inspection. Okay. Now this Final Inspection retail me about, I think I picked it up for like 6 or $7 on Amazon. Now this product is not talked about much. The Professional Final Inspection number 34. Uh, I haven't heard too many people at all talk about it. You know, y'all know me. I tried a lot of different Maguire stuff, stuff that you ain't never heard of too much. I tried out by Maguire's because I feel like it's a winner. All right. And uh, like I said, ain't much. This product is not talked about a lot. And um, I just don't know why. It's a pretty good one also. Okay. Now, as far as you know, the Griot's over here. Most of you guys heard about that one. And, um. It's okay. It's not bad, but it's not that great either. All right, so no further ado, let's jump into it. We're going to start off with the Griot's 5-Minute Detail. Here we go. Let that penetrate in there so we can get the best of the best out of the product. Y'all know how I do it. I like to bring y'all them competition stuff out there, man. Because me personally, I like to try them out. I want to see which one the best of the best. And the reason why, when I do these comparisons, it give me a good idea if I say, well, uh, I like that, which one I like the best. Uh, I'll be like, well, I'm going to go back. I'm going to buy that by the gallon. So it tells me, you know, if if it's that good, if it's really that good, then I'll go back and buy this by the gallon. Then, you know, so I ain't got nothing to worry about. I'll go back and buy it by the gallon. And, um, yeah, that let me know which one I like the best. All right, so let's give it a quick wipe here on the Griots. Not only is helping you guys, but it's telling me, well, well this stuff, that's our, I ain't going to buy that no more, you know. <laughs> that's how I be, man. I like a product that's good, you know. So that tell me, well, you know, this stuff is this sorry where well, I ain't planning on spending my money on it no more. Uh, you know, I'll just stick with McGuire's stuff mainly. Okay, that's the first coat of the Grills Garage Speed Shine Detailer. Let's give it a nice shake when we hit it again with the second one. Here we go. Okay. It's up there, it's up there, it's up there, it's up there. All right, guys, let's buff away. Using a green microfiber cloth this time. <laughs> Got all colors to choose from in the house there, man. Okay, let's flip that over. Choo, 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 choo. Okay. It's all off there. Shining too. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys. Now let's hit it again. We'll go for three coats. Shake them up. 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 Here we we'll go. 
done deal there. It's a done deal. All right. Now, with the speed shot, I didn't see where the technology in this detail spray by the Griots, it didn't have a lot of hydrophobic technology in it, but I'm pretty sure it's protecting the paint pretty good. It just didn't have the hydrophobic technology that Meguiar's had in their detail sprays. I just got to call it out there the way I see it, guys. And using it, that's the way it is. You know, now, I ain't, like I said, I ain't saying it's not protecting your paint, but I will say this. It just ain't got the hydrophobic technology as the Meguiar's detail sprays and stuff has. And uh, that's what's important, you know. That's what's important. Gotta have that. See? So if I can't get that technology that Meguiar's offers in their detail sprays, then I don't mess with them too much. So here we go, guys. Let's give it a last and final wipe. But don't get me wrong, the Griots is good. But it's just not that, that McGuire's got the that hydrophobic technology with it that really throws it over the top. And when you look talking water beating technology, that's really what you want on your paint. You want that water beating technology there. And which the Griots just didn't have it. Not in the detail spray. You know, they might have it in the spray wax. But I think they're lagging a couple decades behind when it comes to Meguiar's. That's just my opinion. Okay, that's the third and final coat. Now we're going to move over here to the Meguiar's Mirror Glaze Final Inspection Detail Spray. Quick touch up. Let's give it a nice shake up. Let's roll with the punches. Here we go. Just let that penetrate in now. And like I said, this particular detail spray right here, this final inspection, it's got a cool spray on a bottle like this. This particular one here wasn't talked about a lot. Uh, a lot of people probably never even heard of it. Uh, but you know me, when it said Meguiar's, I was just kind of interested and give it a try and see what it'll do. I feel like most of all Meguiar products are really, really amazing. So why not? Well, when I'm talking Meguiar's products, I blind by them. I don't care because I know anything Meguiar's make is pretty good. Everybody should know that. Okay, so let's give it a wipe here. They got a lot of products out there, man. And I ain't seen that real bad one yet. Meguiar's make some of the best stuff in the game out there for detailing. I tell anybody that one. McGuire's and Turtle Wax. Two of the best companies it is. Alright, it's the first coat of that. Let's shake it up, shake them 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 up. up. Let's hit the second coat. Alright. That penetrate in now work is magic. Okay, after this, we'll do the third and final coat. And like I said, guys, if you're interested in this product, you should be able to get it for anywhere from seven or eight bucks now on Amazon. Now, uh, this particular one, you ain't gonna be able to walk in the store nowhere and find it. You're gonna have to order it. Like I said, this is this is one you, I haven't even heard of a lot, and you guys, I'm pretty sure y'all ain't either. So uh, prepare to order. <laughs> I think the only place you're going to barely be able to get it is going to be Amazon. So, like I said, prepare to order, man. Okay, here we go. I'm about to get into some of that Dura Gloss stuff, guys. Dura Gloss makes some pretty good stuff, too. I'm trying to get up in some of their products and sealants and stuff. Y'all stay tuned for Dura Gloss stuff coming up soon. Getting some of the Dura Gloss Tashans. Y'all stay tuned for that. That's coming up. Okay. 
And here's the third and final coat. Let's give it a nice shake. Here we go. All right. The third and final coat. So we're going to go ahead and wipe this away. We ain't going to waste a lot of time. I give it three coats. Make sure I get the full effect on both products. Okay. All right, she dried up. Now, let's get into the water testing. Remember what I told you guys? That's what's most important. Let's file right down to it, man. Here we go. We're going to start off with the grills garage. Speed shine detail. Here we go. It's beating up nicely now. Okay, as you can see there. It's not very uniform, though, but it's beating. See here? It beating water pretty good. But it's not no tight, tight bees. It's very uniformed. All right, so let's move over here to the McGuire's final inspection. Here we go. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. There's the McGuire's final inspection. Oh, I think the McGuire's bees are a little better. A little bit tighter over here on the final inspection. You can see right there. It's not the tightest either. It's not very uniform, but it's uniform better than the griots. See here? Here's the griot side right here. Here's the final inspection side. Okay. Yep. The McGuire's bees are a little tighter over here. On the final inspection side, guys, the better uniformed, as you can see. Let's travel back over here to the griots. Okay, the griots doing this thing too. But uh, just the beating action of their product, it's not uniform. It's kind of messy, as you can see, it's drooping all over the place. See here? That's telling me the beating action is not as good as the McGuire's stuff. Look at here. Here's McGuire's. See the difference? I gotta call it where I see it. I don't favoritism no company. I just call it 100% the way I see it. Okay? And the way I'm seeing it here, because I'm right here to it, you know. I'm right here to it. And the beating action of the McGuire Spinal Inspection are more tighter and uniform. It's not the tightest of the tightest, but it's tighter than Grio's Garage Speed Shine. Put it like that. Okay, this here more messier beads. This is a better uniform bead. But it's not the tightest. But it's better than Grios. Alright. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And yeah, guys. <laughs> the McGuire's is the winner here. The beading action is tighter on the final inspection. And it's cheaper. Like I say, you can get this for like six or seven bucks. Versus 12 to 15 bucks. So you're talking almost double in price, you know. So, but anyway, McGuire's the winner. Take care. I'll hit you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.